guys, my May 2017 Ipsy Glam Bag is here. I actually got it much sooner than I anticipated, but I can't complain because that means that I get to test these products out a little bit longer before I write my review at the end of the month. But anyway, let's just open up this lovely pink package and see what's inside. So the theme this month is Summer Friday. There's lots of ice cream cones and popsicles all over the bag and it's transparent as you can see. It's supposed to be water resistant. I think it's a very cute bag, I'm not gonna deny that. Anyway, let's just see what I received. First product out, Briogeo Rosarco Milk. It's a reparative leave-in conditioning spray. I have seen a couple other bloggers review this on their blogs and it sounds amazing. It contains rosehip, argan oil, and coconut oil, which are really, really good for your hair. No sulfates, no parabens, or silicones, so that is always good to hear. I definitely can't wait to try it. Next item out, the Urban Decay Afterglow 8-Hour Powder Highlighter. I believe the shade that I got is Sin. So this is a lightweight, finely milled formula. It's supposed to be super soft and blends easily, lasts all day. It looks really pretty on the pan and it's actually decent sized, I would say. It's much bigger than another highlighter that I got last month. So at least I'll be able to dip my brush into this and use it. Next item out, the Royal In Lang Nickel Precision Angled Brush. It's really soft. It's so pretty. It's white and gold. The bristles look to be really high quality. I'm just very excited to use it. And I am so excited to have received a brush and my Ipsy bag. Next item is this lipstick. It's the Mela Cosmetics Matte Lipstick. I got this in the shade Nude. It's paraben free and cruelty free, so that is amazing. The packaging looks so adorable. This is so amazing. I would love to just carry this in my bag and if I end up liking the color, I will probably be using a lot during the summer. Thank you, Ipsy. This lipstick looks awesome. I'm definitely excited to use it. I love lipsticks, more specifically matte lipsticks. So I hope this shade suits me. Last item out of my Ipsy bag, Jelly Pong Pong Cosmetics Super Intense Eyeshadow Duo. This one is also cruelty free. I love the packaging, it's minty. These shades look so gorgeous. They're glitter eyeshadows. Uh, this one looks to be kind of like a rosy tone, and then this one seems to be kind of goldish, maybe a bronzy, shimmery shade. I'm very excited to try this brand, so I'm very, very happy to have received this, especially eyeshadow, because I've been wanting to get more glitter shades, and I have none, so this is perfect. I'm not sure which product I'm most excited about trying. I feel like I'm excited to try all of them. I have tried none of these brands before, except for Urban Decay. I got a birthday gift from Ulta last year and it was just an eyeshadow. Thanks so much for watching. As always, make sure to follow my blog if you want to see reviews of my Ipsy Glam Bags. I am thinking about expanding on these videos in the future. Maybe do looks with the products that I receive, maybe do first impressions. I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you on my next video.